Hello, in this tutorial we will take a look at round robin brackets and how to set them up together with tiebreakers and match points. Round robin is a bracket type that puts all athletes in one big group and you can either have everyone play everyone or set a maximum number of matches. But since there's no elimination process like in a single or double elimination bracket, you can potentially end up with a situation where all athletes have the same number of wins. So it's important that you set up tiebreakers when using round robin brackets. And in this tutorial, I will show you how that works. On top of the tiebreakers, we also give you options to calculate the placements in the round robin based on wins or match points. Using wins will automatically give one point for each win. If you set up match points, you can give different points depending on the winning method. So an Ippon, Submission or a KO can give more points than a win by points. Let's start by creating a round robin and then set up the tiebreakers. Start by clicking Registrations. And from here you can create your brackets. I will create a round robin based on this group with three athletes. Click Create Bracket. And here choose Round Robin. You can see here we have different variations. We have true round robin where everyone plays everyone. Or you can set a max number of matches. Let's say you have a big group with a lot of athletes. Maybe you don't want everyone to play everyone. But then you can set a max number of matches instead. I will use a true round robin for this example. And here you can calculate the placements. The default method is wins. So I will set up this bracket based on the number of wins. And then click Create Bracket. I will just go ahead and uh, create some results for these matches. So you can see how it looks when you end up in a situation where all athletes win one fight. Uh, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So, as you can see, all athletes beat each other, and they all have one win each now. So there's no way to determine the winner. And this is a situation where we need to use a tiebreaker. So in order to set up the tiebreaker, click Admin, and then Brackets. And then, under Round Robin and Tiebreakers, you can set them up. Start by adding your first rule. This is a judo event, so I will use the sum of match score as my first criteria. I suggest adding at least three layers, since you can have situations where a bracket is equal and then the sum of match score is also equal. So add a second rule. I will use the sum of all opponent score. The lower is the better. And then the third rule, I will use head to head. So in a situation where two athletes have the same points, the fight between the two will determine the winner. So now SmoothComp will look for the first rule, try to determine the bracket. If that is also equal, it will look to the second rule and then the third rule. Once you're satisfied, click Save. And now you have your rules for your tiebreaker. It's important to note that you need to set up your tiebreaker before you create your brackets. So I have deleted my bracket and now with the tiebreaker in place, I have new results for the, for the brackets. As you can see, they all got one win each, but this time we have a winner, Samuel. Both Samuel and Greg actually had the same amount of points in their fights and Rolando never scored against any of them. But in the fight between Samuel and Greg, Samuel was the winner. And the third rule, head to head, determined the winner. The other method to calculate placements in a round robin is to use match points. Click Admin, Brackets, and then under Round Robin, you'll find match points. I've already prepared a little here. This is a Judo event and we want to promote action. So we give 10 points for a win by Ippon. We give 5 points for a win by Basari. And then we give less points for wins by Walkover, Hansukumake, which is a disqualification, and then decisions. Once you have your points set up, click save. Let's create another bracket, but this time we will set it up using match points. So click registrations again. 
and I will create a round robin for this group with four athletes. Create bracket, round robin, true round robin. But here, calculate placements by points instead. And then click create bracket. The winning method is connected with the way you score the fights in the scoreboard. So let's take a look at our beautiful scoreboard and I'll show you how that works. So now I'm here in our scoreboard application. To the left is the spectator view and to the right is the input panel. Anything I do on the input panel is reflected on the spectator view. Start the clock. Give points. Remove points. Give a warning or remove a warning. Usaikomi is the hold in judo. But then suddenly Eric Benson wins by an Ippon. So I click Ippon. And then when I click end game, you see this box that says one by. And remember from our match points, we gave 10 points for an Ippon or five points for a Vasari. So depending on what you click here, that will award the points to Eric. So he won by an Ippon. So I click Ippon. And then I click save. And now this match is saved. And then I just click go to next match. So the round robin is now finished. And Eric and Marion ended up getting two wins each. But Eric won his first fight via Ippon, which gave him 10 points. And then his next fight via Vasari, another five points. So he ended up being the winner with a total of 15 points. Marion was second. He won two fights via Vasari. So if you need to promote a certain winning method, make sure to set up match points. All right, that's it. Round robin brackets are a lot of fun for the athlete. And once you have set up the criteria, you're all set for a smooth event. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we publish new material. And good luck with your next event. I see you in the next video.